This is going to be a 360 degree view of the forearm. We're going to start here in red with the brachioradialis. If you remember from the other video, up there in blue is the brachialis, so don't confuse those two. Uh, the way to distinguish those is the brachialis is between the different brachii and the brachioradialis is on the side with the radius. Okay, so we're going to start off, there's the brachioradialis, and then in pink, we're now going to do extensors, because on this, this is extension motion from this anterior view of your forearm. In pink there, we have the extensor carpi radialis longus, carpi because your carpal bones and carpals of your wrist, radialis because it's on the side of your radius. There in yellow, we'll zoom in here, we're going to have the extensor carpi radialis brevis because it's shorter than the longest. And then in blue there, we're going to have the extensor digitorum. It extends down into your digits. And then there in orange, we're going to have the extensor carpi ulnaris. It extends down into where your ulna is. And then there in red, now we're going to start doing the ex we're going to start doing the flexors because this motion would be flexion. So there in red, we're going to have the flexor carpi ulnaris again on the side of your ulna. In light pink, we're going to have the palmaris longus. It goes down into your palm. There in orange, we're going to have the flexor carpi radialis. It goes into your carpals, and it's on the side of your radius. There in green, we're going to have the flexor ex digitorum longus, or superficialis, sorry. That again is the flexor digitorum superficialis. Okay, and then we're up here in yellow, we're going to have the pronator teres. And then on this side, if we remove that portion, we're going to have the supinator. We'll zoom in here. They kind of make a V if you use your imagination. So that would be the supinator, and there in yellow is the pronator teres.